What is up guys? I am standing in my old garage gym and as you guys can see, it is empty now. Gym is empty, empty floor, no power rack, no deadlift platform, no lap machine, just the remaining punching bags in here. But there's a good reason for that and I'm about to show you guys. All right, so here we are in the new and improved gym. It's not really improved, the new environment that I'm in. So I did have this gym set up in my garage and it was really good uh, just for me, but since this whole pandemic thing, all my friends have really been using my gym. You know, we've all been working out together because the gyms are closed and we're, there's nowhere for them to work out. And so I kind of just, um, we've all been using my gym. So no problem, but it's just, it kind of gets tight in there when you have more than, you know, four or five people in there. We have a shop uh, on, you know, on my property and we just decided that it was probably the best interest to move the entire gym into one side of the shop because there's just more room and we can have room for more equipment um, in the future and it's just overall a better move and especially this one's insulated and so it's not going to be as hot or as cold as it would be in my garage because that's just pretty much is this, I live in a log home so it's just logs and then the broken garage door but in here it is insulated so it will help quite a bit I'm going to show you the new setup and let's get to it so here is the new and improved gym setup now I'm going to be going over every piece of equipment that I have in here and I'm going to put everything in the link in the description below so you can check that out. Right, let's start in this corner with my uh, lap machine. So for my lap machine, I've had the same one for three years. It is a TDS lap machine that I bought off of Amazon and the only thing that's wrong with it is I just had to upgrade the pulleys and I upgraded those two up there to aluminum pulleys and that one I still need to upgrade. It's just a normal plastic pulley. They're not very good but I will link the pulleys in the description as well. Over here I have the attachments for that lap machine. I have, you know, just my lap pull down bar, uh, you know, curl bar, tricep bar, and yeah, so those are my attachments. Uh, I had the hooks on the wall in the garage and I just stuck them right there because they're out of the way and also easily accessible. And then here's a couple jump ropes and things like that. So up here we have my gym chalk and my uh, straps and wraps and um, I just put them up there. I usually carry them in my bag but there's no gym to bring that bag to, so there's no point in keeping them there. I just keep them in here. So up here we have my uh, whiteboard, which will come in handy when I get some expo markers, but I'm going to be putting uh, our workouts and some goals and some uh, weights that I want to be hitting up there. So it's going to come in handy eventually, like I said, when I get some expo markers, but yeah, it's a new addition. So this is the thing I'm probably most excited about, and that is because it is a dedicated uh, deadlift platform. Now the reason I'm most excited about this is because I had this same setup uh, in the gym, in the garage gym, and by setup I mean, um, you know, a half inch piece of plywood right here on top or underneath three quarter inch uh, horsestall mat, which is a six by four and two of them, so really it means a six by eight. And so how I have this setup is I have a uh, four by eight piece of plywood going over there, and then I have a two by eight piece of plywood going right here because they don't make a six by eight piece of plywood or where I could find any. So I just made my own six by eight piece of plywood and then I screwed on top the uh, two horse stall mats uh, for my deadlift platform. Now I had this uh, in my garage and then I had that power rack sitting on top of it but I wanted to make a dedicated um, deadlifting platform and the reason I made it a six by eight is because as you can see over there, I have some electrical stuff and I don't like being cramped and especially with this big of an area, I'm gonna use as much space as I need. I did make a six by eight deadlift platform with plenty of room and the reason I put uh, the plywood underneath, I saw someone commenting about this, pretty much just for um, protection of the floor and to secure the, the mat so you're not sliding around every time you deadlift. So that is my deadlifting platform and then also right there i hung up my hook grip flag that my girlfriend got for me thank you Haley. Uh, right here i'd like to show i just have some of these uh kind of just foam mats that you know i've got over time i think they're from sam's and you get like a, i think it's a set of nine you know like three by three uh for maybe i don't know 25 dollars. and i've just gotten a couple packs and just to put something down for right now eventually i do want to put a bunch of four stall mats down but as of right now, that's what we're working with, and I really, really do like it. And so, yeah. Now, here is my rack. This is my Titan T3 uh, power rack that I got. It's the tall version of the Titan power rack. And I picked this one up a little while ago. You saw it in my previous video. But the difference is, is now that this 
is screwed into the concrete and I have been waiting for this for so long. Um, the reason I've been waiting for it is because when you squat and you bench in this rack and it's not secured, it's gonna shift all over the place. We have squatted, we have been, and whenever we squat, when we rack it, we have to have someone holding the rack because when you throw it on there, you get a heavy set in, you're just gonna tip the rack over. If you're not gonna be able to secure this thing and mount it to the concrete, I would highly suggest either a wall mounted one or possibly a half rack where you can store your plates on the rack. It's not meant to have weights being thrown on it without being secured on the concrete. So if you were to get this rack, I would definitely recommend securing it to the concrete. So we got all four corners secured and this thing is not going anywhere. I mean, we've done muscle ups on it. We haven't squatted on it yet, but we benched on it and it is working great. Down here, we also have another set of uh, four by six horse saw mats, uh, you know, a six by eight setup. And those are very, very good. Very, very good for, you know, if we're dropping a weight and it also helps secure the bench because it, you know, kind of gives some grip for the bench to sit down, you know, so you don't shift everywhere. And then for the bench, we still have this Marcy adjustable. Uh, you can see that over there, the leg extension, leg curl. I bought that for I think $80 and I just do not recommend it. If you're gonna spend $80 on a bench, I would go ahead and up it, save more money, and spend maybe $120 on a cap bench. Right now, especially things are hard to find, but when things go back down, invest in a good bench. That is the Marcy bench, don't get it. Over here we have our little dumbbell section now. I used to have adjustable dumbbells. In the previous video I showed them, but they're broken, so these are what we're working with. We have two, I think they run up to 40 pounds. I'm not mistaken, each one. Enough for now, I'm looking to upgrade very soon, but as of right now, those are working great. Over here is the kind of final section. I have all my weights, I think I have 545 pounds, including the bar, so 500 pounds of just plates, and they are working great. And then I also have my curl, curl bar stored over here, and then my regular uh, Rogue Boneyard bar right there. Then I have the two flags hung up, and then yeah, here is my mirror. I haven't really found a place for it yet. I just did this uh, this past weekend. Uh, all of this was full of stuff, by the way. This was literally when you walked in, there was stuff to the ceiling all the way back. So we spent all weekend moving everything over to that side. That took about a day. And then we moved everything in here from the garage, which that took another couple of hours the next day. So that is my gym so far. Um, I also have that rack back there. You can kind of see it, that rack full of, uh, just, you know, Christmas stuff and all these decorations. And it's not really a problem. Um, we're gonna cover it up kind of just to get it out of the way. And then also we have this dude up here. We have not come up with a name yet, but um, we really wanna name him. Drop names in the description below because I really wanna know what we should name this guy. Like, just look at him. Look at him, he's chilling. Yeah. Yeah, we need to come up with a name for him. That is my gym. That will do it for today, guys. So I'll give you one more rundown. Here's everything. Um, that we have in here. Let's see if it'll focus everything we have in here. And yeah, so that is my gym. I hope you guys like this video. Um, let me know what you guys think about the transfer and the change of environment. Um, I can tell you right now, we've already had a couple workouts in here and it just changes the entire mood. I think the change was very much needed and I have kind of overgrown the garage as of right now. So over time, we're gonna try and get more equipment. Let me know what we should name this bad boy up here. I don't know, Steve, Jerry, Joseph, drop your suggestions down below. And like I said, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to everything in this video. And I hope you guys like it, subscribe. I just wanna say thank you to my subscribers. A little last uh, thing, I wanna say thank you. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you guys. I hit 100 subscribers not too long ago and now at 149. It just, it makes me super happy. So I wanna say thank you to you guys for your support and I'll catch you on the next one.